Argument. Hmm. Yeah, super helpful. So did you get this argument maybe from like reading someone, Josh, like ideas from it? Or is it something maybe you think more you just kind of like came into your head one day? I'm just curious, like maybe like the origin of like your thoughts on this idea? Sort of a combination. You know, I think that everybody kind of has ways of influencing others, uh, maybe even in indirect ways. Um, mm -hmm. There's a certain form of this idea I got from Robert Coons. He talks about a principle whereby we can investigate uh, whether the fundamental necessary reality, if there is a necessary reality, would have particular um, quantitative features. And we'll talk more about this, but like maybe it has four sides or six sides. You know, those are quantitative features. Um, and so I did see it in his work. I also saw it in Dun Scotus's work as well and a few other philosophers. Um, and then also just independently, I was just thinking myself about it. And I came up with this kind of principle in my mind, this principle of irrelevant differences. This is a principle by which the um, fundamental reality would have to vary or differ from non-fundamental things in a way that's relevant to account for it being fundamental versus non-fundamental. And I think this sort of principle of, well, the principle of irrelevant differences would be if the, if the difference is not relevant, then it should be in the same boat. It should be caused or explained. Um, but if it but if it's going to be unexplained, that's got to have a relevant difference. And I think this actually underwrites some of Robert Coons's work here because Robert Coons talks about a principle of slight differences. So he says that, um, you know, if, if having a triangular shape is going to have a further cause or explanation, then having, you know, a square shape will have a further cause or explanation because the difference between three and four is sort of a slight difference. And then, and I would say, yeah, and the reason why a slight difference is not enough is because it's not a relevant difference. <laughs> you need a relevant difference to explain why the one shape could be ultimate, uh, but not the other shape, you know? So that, that's why it's like, no matter how this thing is shaped, it seems like whatever its particular shape is, is going to have some further explanation to explain, you know, that shape rather than a different shape.